Good afternoon, Sarah. It's a lovely sunny day, lovely blue skies, and we're in a lovely quiet village in Trevesa. Yes, we are indeed. So we're on the, what we'd call the back route to Tamar. So the old, it's not the main road, but it's the old way through from Coolingborough to Tamar before the M110 was built up. It's a very popular area. And it's got a lovely mixture of houses. Lots of properties around here have been done up um, because it is very popular. We're 20 minutes from Tamar. This house we have here today is brand new. We're just waiting for the license to be issued from the town hall, but it's all in process and that's just, it should be issued fairly soon. Just a time thing. So obviously, well, your boundaries are from the white wall across. We have electric gates. We have intercom into the property. And then it goes to the whites on the far side. Some landscaping has been done, i.e. sort of making it flat. And you can see where your septic tank is there. There's a lovely row of olive trees all along the left-hand side here as we go up the property. And actually, that's quite a nice view for you to be able to see. There's some huge, I think there are oak trees up there. In fact, I've just been wondering at the, why there's a garage door there, but I think it's quite things the sunshade. Um, and on the right here, you could have lawn. Maybe you put a pool in, maybe you put it at the back. There's a terrace at the front and at the back of the property. The property itself has got 96 square metres. Everything's brand new. It's got electric hot water at the moment, but there's the possibility the installation's already in for gas if you wanted to use gas instead. Yeah, importantly, there's also down here on the street, uh, as well as the usual water and electric connections, he's also had installed when natural gas does arrive here uh, so that you can be connected to natural gas. So he's like actually thought ahead of that. Natural gas is not in the street at the moment, but it, it will come. It is going in these areas. Who knows um, when? There's also main sewage. Main sewage, yes. In, in the street yeah. as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, should we go and have a look? Yes, let's. I mean, it's really nice size garden, isn't it? It's wide. If you wanted your pool here, I thought you could easily just do parking in between the olive trees here. Yeah. And actually get a little bit of shade. He's also planted, not so much here, you've got two little fir trees there. As we go further up the land, terraces, and um, he's put a variety of fruit trees in, and I believe there's irrigation for most of those. There's certainly pipes sticking up. I forgot to check, I will check with him. Yeah, I mean, these olive trees here, are really, uh, 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 Quite mature aren't they yeah no they're a good age yeah they're a good age and they've been looked after as in they've been pruned and kept a decent shape now i'm just going to do a little pan around the garden yeah okay i'm just going to see an I idea can... of where we are in relation oh, to ooh. everything else as well those cicadas are out in full they are even i can hear them yeah song plums not quite ripe Oh no. Very good colour though. You've thwarted on a scrumping mission. Yeah, not quite ripe enough. And I'd only get it down my top. Down yeah, to there's um so. there's a shed here on the side, which we'll go into in a little while. I mean, the owner's happily sitting in there at the moment. Um I th I thought he wanted to move and we were gonna go to the house. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's just go into the house. Yep, come on in. It feels very spacious and new, which of course it is. Nice simplistic design. Plenty of space here for a lounge. Looking out over the garden up there. Plenty of room here for a kitchen table. Yeah, decent size to open yeah, the lounge. Whichever, whichever yeah. way you want it, don't you? Yeah. And, um, a space for the fridge freezer there. All the windows are dual aspect. Yeah. Pardon? 
I said yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously, we've got double sink here, nice black countertop, and we do have soft clothes cupboards. Yeah. Indu indu whew, induction hob, electric cooker, but there is the possibility of having, well, no, there isn't. It's been installed for the gas if you wanted mains gas. Yeah. You currently don't actually get mains gas, but you could put a bottle outside because it's all installed yeah. if you wanted to have gas. Yeah, but everything's yeah. electric at the moment. I was going to say, I was gonna, why would I try and open the one cupboard that doesn't open? Right. <laughs> so from here, so you've got your fridge freezer there and you've got all your cooking utilities. You've got your hob and your sink. Plenty of storage space underneath. And actually, just let's show, because there are these nice deep drawers, so your pots and pans. So, right. And then I imagine that this room here, you put shelving in, and this would be your pantry. Yeah, make an excellent ladder. And this, of course, is the utility room. Yeah. It's already plumbed for washing machine. And it's got a good height there, actually. If you wanted to put like a hanging clothes rail that you pulled oh, up, yeah, yeah. that would be perfect. You've got a window air circulating. You've also got the gas heater up there. No, electric, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Electric yeah. and plenty of storage space. Yeah. Um, so this is where you storage and then everything can be put neatly away in this space here. Ah, so we mention it now. Yeah. We just to recheck because we notice a chimney. So, above here, there is in fact a chimney and you just need to cut it open yeah. and then you can put in either a wood-burning salamander or something electric yeah. for heating. So you've got other options. So there is, I mean, there is a very nice designed chimney on the roof. There is? Yeah, it is. Which confused us yeah. a minute ago. So, yeah. and we wondered where the fireplace was. We're kind of on take two. So, bedroom one, a really nice bedroom. Both bedrooms, there's not a lot of difference in size. No, I, I, I put a feeling the other one's slightly larger. Yeah, slightly larger so, than this. Plenty of space for the wardrobes, and here wardrobes and drawers. And then, I guess, the towels, beddings, and all that sort of stuff that you seasonal use. Yeah. You've got this here. Um, well, we could just go out here and in through the other one, couldn't we? Right, so. Very nice stone lentils. They're beautiful, actually. We've also realised that we've, we've, all the blinds are electric and they're black, so it goes with the surround colour that you've added in the detail and the lamps. Yeah. Um, but there's also a really good gap there, so that's going to add as another insulation level when the blinds are down. Yeah, so not, keep... not a lot of heat would get through that no. at all. And it's just going to go to there. So, and they're really far set back. So I think you're going to be quite, well. Yeah, the quality of these stone lintels is, is ex exceptional, isn't it? Right, we can't get in that one unless we shrink a lot. No, we'll right. have to walk back through. Let's go back. But this is a lovely. I'm in the views though. No, but this is lovely. This time of day, you want some shade. Yeah, there's the steps that go down into the front garden and where, where the parking area would be. You, I mean, although you feel like you're at the front of that, well, you are at the front of the house, there's, there's no one here. No. So you could, you quite happily, this is lovely and shady now. You didn't want to be in the sun, but you wanted to come out and have a coffee. Actually, lovely views, nice rolling hills, lots of trees, few houses. And um, very soon you can pick your neighbour's pig without them <laughs> noticing. <laughs> I'm going to go back to <laughs> Bounty. Right. Bathroom. Very well appointed bathroom. With a massive shower cubicle, which is unusual. Have them quite about big. And the tiles are gorgeous. Little marble in them tiles. They're very nice. So they're they're not 
sort of in your face. It's not a very good phrase, but they are quite subtle as in they've got a stone effect and the white one the same. They're not plain, they're just a little bit of detailing in lovely wide wash face in there and the wooden effects. How does that really Why is there a hole in there? Okay, go around the pipe. Um, and if we come into this bedroom, I feel, I don't know whether it is big or whether it's just because it's got a window. There's not a lot in it. But we've got the same setup. And again, you can go straight out. Yeah, it's a really nice room. Yeah. Double bed, okay, the bed's in ten. Oh, clever man. He's done it two ways. Because often oh. it's dictated for you Five which way your bed's going to go because of where they put the plants. So he's done it so it can be that way or it can be that way. Yeah. Maybe he's done that in the other room. Let's just check. Yep, he's done that in the other room. So that's a nice detailing. Yeah. 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 Not many people have managed to do that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go out onto the um, the other terrace. Yeah. Now there's all your utilities, um, your uh, fuse boxes and what have you. Oh, okay. to point out, yeah, all the internet stuff's down the bottom. There's also an internet. Intercom for the gate. Yeah, so that goes right here. down to the bottom. Yeah. So that would that would also um, operate the gate, I imagine. Yeah, and obviously we seem to have endless sockets there of all sorts, and then in the bedrooms as well. So <clears throat> enjoy your trip, Sarah. Yes, thank you. Right. So here we have. I mean, this is south facing here. So now obviously we've got the full sun um, and with it being at the back and with the kitchen being there, I think it's very nice you put a covered area here maybe in wood. You could tell us it if you wanted to, couldn't you? Could you? Trellis, I mean, that's very nice. Yeah. Although in fairness, that right, I think he's away watching me now, I feel watched. Um, opposite, when then there's a covered area as well. So that's also used for entertaining. Yeah, but this is actually set up for it. I mean... It's got gas, it's got electricity, it's got water. Yeah. You know, so um, here. this is meant to be an entertainment area. An outside kitchen. Yeah. yeah. It is definitely. Yeah. It's got the barbecue over there. Yes, yeah. at the moment, because there's no cover on here. But yeah. I mean, it, you know, I think that was always the intention. Yeah. And we've got the guttering here, and then you've just got the access going down the side of the house. Yeah, really nice roof detailing, isn't there, as well? At this point, we noticed the chimney and got very confused. <laughs> and so there is the chimney. I think you can see it. If not, you'll see it from the top of the land. Yeah. So, shall I? Shall I, shall I go up the top of the land? Or? Yeah, you can do. Quiero se fica la o vaya a ir? I'll go up the land. Yeah, okay. So, here we go. Sarah's not dealing very well with the... So, Sarah put silly shoes on because we thought she'd wear silly shoes on. Just a vault. Just want to um, me filming her. Now you can see already the stonework that's been done on these terraces, and oh, looks lovely. they are really lovely. And there's already the ducting to add irrigation all the way up here as well. So very low maintenance. Sarah pointed out earlier, there's a random garage door. Yeah, I've come to the now the sunshade. But at the moment, must just be for shade. Well, it is. Well, look, because what we've got here is... A uh, little stone seating on the got... Oh, oh, not from that, yeah. And there's also a sort of, a sort of barbecue. I think we'll say the start of a stone barbecue. Yeah. And then maybe we'd paint a picture on the garage door. Not quite sure well, it's 3,000 square metres of land altogether. Um, it's on a, it is on a gradient. You could get a vehicle all the way up here without any bother whatsoever. Um, well, my Mercedes might struggle. Rear wheel drive and all that, but... We've got a herb garden. Without any trouble at all. I just realised I'm on the microphone. Um, yeah, I'll see the terraces. There's already work gone into all of it. 
And there we have it. I'm just staying down here. I found a whole variety of tea oh, areas. I wish you wouldn't talk. I don't know if the microphone's picking her up or not. Look, I've got a lovely old carved bench. <laughs> I've got one made out of pallets and one made out of stone. Yeah. And the natural shade is worth a lot. This side all has natural shade, doesn't it? Yeah, natural natural shade matters. It really does. So, anyway. Okay. You're looking very relaxed and very lovely. Would you like to do a summary? I'd like to do some work. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, from here? The yeah, why well, not? Next to the garage door? No, this would be fine. Oh, we haven't, we haven't done the art build. So, yeah, we're coming down into the uh, outbuilding, the shed, which has an aluminium roof. It's block built. Oh, there's a, <laughs> it's, his, it's his restaurant. He's clearly somewhere where he comes with his mates, judging by the five litre bottle of wine. Um, white. Red or white. A bottle of whiskey and a bottle of royal brandy. The area where I was just sat in the three different seats was also a bit of a, a play, play area with a barb, the old barbecue there. Yeah. So here we've got a metal roof, insulated with the roof. Two, with the casa, here we've got the restaurant, the pesta. Okay. So when I sell the house, we're going to have a party. Ah, excellent. Um, so this is, this is probably approximately 30 square meters, something like that. It's a good size, isn't it? Yeah, a bit, a bit bigger than that. Yeah. So it's a good help to the house. I mean, you could use it in a garage. You could. I, I didn't miss it. Just a bit difficult turning into it. But. Ah, okay. I yeah. think it'll be perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we can have a look. Um, At what's going on down there? You get the you get lintels to your left if you just see they've got as well as being the lovely stone, that's a nice front door. And they've got that detailing in it, sort of nineteen twenty, doesn't it? Art back and sort of detailing on the top stop there. Yeah. Right, so come on then. Where should we go? Yeah, for modern stone lintels, they are some of the nicest I've seen. And I imagine will cost a pretty penny. Oh, well I think you look wonderful. So, we have a brand new house, still waiting for its license, which is not a problem because it's all been done correctly, but um, I imagine it's going to have quite a good rating, but we'll have to wait and see. It's, um, it's obviously well insulated, good quality products, and it's a very nice sort of simple design, easy, permanent home, or lock up and leave, or rental even. Yeah. Very good area for rental. Um, I have forgotten to ask him about whether he can put a pool in, but I'll find that out because it obviously it's got a huge amount of space and lovely garden area to put a pool in. Yeah. And it is, oh, I could say it now because we're going to finish the video. Very quiet. No one's driven past. Beginning, there would be a 10 truck. On a Saturday afternoon as well. So, yeah. 